So it's Monday morning. It's pretty dismal outside, but um, start of the week, start of lots of vaccinations. There's my four-year-old, Thomas. We're just having our breakfast. We're about to start our week, aren't we? Yeah. Bye. So it's eight o'clock in the morning. Um, and I've just arrived in work about 20 minutes ago um, to start the, uh, the day, uh, which is um, always very unpredictable um, and uh, generally always uh, very, very busy. Um, but we're used to that. Uh, and I think um, that uh, the challenges that, that, that COVID have added to, to the job is um, the need to constantly adapt to um, different ways of working, different changes. So this is our practice at Helsby. This normally would be packed full with chairs, but as you are aware, we can't pack the place full at, at the moment, but we are seeing patients and they are coming in with an appointment only and doing clinics. Thank you. So I've got a vaccination clinic this morning. So I've just arrived in Frodsham. So my practice is Hell's Been Alton practice and we're joined together with um, the Knoll practice to form a network to deliver the vaccine to the local community. So we're doing a joint clinic this morning um, and hopefully going to get loads more people protected. So here we are in the hall, we're just about to start our vaccines. We've got all our stations down there and then the patients come in through the doors down there uh, and then head out through the doors there. So that's Monday morning vaccine clinic completed. Freezing cold in that hall. <laughs> it's my red nose. Um, but yeah, great start to the day, great start to the week. Um, and um, so many people just, uh, you know, saying that it was the first time they'd been out since March. Um, and, you know, just the, the look of sheer anticipation and relief. And then this afternoon, it's yeah. Mummy and Thomas Day, isn't it? Yeah. So we've come out to this beautiful park to have a walk in the fresh air and get our exercise for the day. Yeah. And it's great, isn't it? Yeah. And then we're going to go home and get warm. Yeah. So I've uh, just arrived at the care home that I look after once a week. I go in and do a quick uh, ward round and check everyone's okay and Covid has been really challenging for this home but you know the dedication of the staff has been astounding. We can proudly say we were the first care home in West Cheshire to get everybody vaccinated and all the residents are really 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 looked after here it's a very very lovely place. Um, 10 to 8 start of another busy day. Um, yesterday was a good day, but again, uh, busy and varied. Um, I think the beauty of my week is I, um, so I work um, three long days, but generally at the moment I have my days with my four-year-old, but inevitably due to the pressures, most weeks I, I tend to cover extra stuff. So I think our clinical load is, is huge at the moment. It's dealing with the, the, the day-to-day -day, um, routine kind of problems and um, on top of COVID and uh, and also, you know, a massive rise in mental health, secondary care are inundated and trying to manage what we can do in the community, but certain things can't be managed in the community. Uh, and we have to do our, our duty of care to our patients as well. And that's hard. I've just been out on the COVID hot tub uh, visiting service um, with my trusty driver, Derek, over there. Give us a wave, Derek. <laughs> We've been fairly lucky with our supply of vaccine. However, I would say the last couple of weeks we struggled a little bit. We, we could have done 500 to 1,000 a week if we'd had the vaccine. We've had really good support from our CCG and, uh, and they've managed to help us out with that. So it's finally the end of the week, Friday, and it's now 20 to 8 in the evening. Um, I've just seen my last patient 
we have faced massive challenges uh, this year as a, as a whole practice, but there are always things we can find through bad situations that pull us through. And I think certainly our staff and our team here have done that. So they've been the saving grace of this whole pandemic from, from my perspective. And I'm very, very, very lucky and very proud. So it's finally the weekend, which means lots of family time and um, catching up and housework and the usual weekend family bits and pieces. Uh, there's not clearly much going on in life at the moment, but um, in some ways it's, I think, forced us all to um, have that quiet downtime at the weekend after, for some of us, a crazy busy week. I actually feel really lucky that I've been able to uh, be out at work, mixing with my colleagues, um, my little boy's been able to go to his uh, preschool and to some extent it maintains a degree of normality to life. We've had lots of personal challenges this year, so not just work, um, my, my, we lost my dad uh, very early on in the, um, in the pandemic and um, you know that's always in the background and, and, and um, we've never not really had a chance to uh, to grieve or spend time um, with, with family and relatives to, to, to help us get through that. And that is a common story, I think, for a lot of people. So life's just been tough as it has been for, for lots of people. Um, but I think we have to focus on the, um, the, the, the new year, what's coming, uh, and, um, and and our children who certainly keep life um, happy uh, and give us definitely a, a different focus.